crazy because I dropped my daughter off to school this morning and I came back <sighs> I am NOT a morning person I am NOT and I have this big old cup of coffee in front of me because trust me I'll go back to my bed right now but right now it is 8 51 in the morning and I want to do a natural everyday makeup because I want to go to the mall today and all of that stuff so I'm gonna do a natural makeup and I'm gonna wear it throughout the day because yeah but basically I went and put on this Fenty lip balm on my lips so that my lip doesn't look choppy on camera and then I'm gonna go in with my ultra radiant hydrated intensive cream for dry choppy skin which is me Y'all know I have dry skin and it's crazy because now it's the winter and I live in New York. Right now it's raining outside and also snowing at the same time and my skin is so dry and I just can't. I don't know why. So this is what I use to you know moisturize my skin and I realized I got this from from um, Sephora and I really love it it definitely works for me for my dry skin if you guys have dry skin you should go ahead and get this one everything that I will be putting on my face will be down in the description box so don't worry okay so next I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with my eyebrow and I do have a eyebrow tutorial that I will be linking up top and also down below in the description box. So go ahead and check it out. So basically I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and all of that good stuff. And I am not going to go crazy with the eyebrow. I am doing something very natural. I am only going to follow the eyebrow shape of my natural eyebrow, the shape of my natural eyebrow. Alright guys, so next I'm going to go in with this MAC concealer and I am in the shade NW45 and this is what I use to, you know, to clean up under my eyebrow and I also use it all the way down onto my eyelid because you guys see that I do have dark spot and a little bit goes a long way like look at this little brush I'm using and I could use one side of the brush and bring it all the way down onto my lid as you guys can see and trust me if you don't have this MAC concealer try it out like go ahead and try it out and trust me you will love me after this i'm telling you this is really good okay so afterwards i am going to go in with my damp beauty blender and i'm just going to go ahead and just pat it in and i i'm thinking really hard of doing a vlog i was saying to myself like okay i've been on youtube for a a year and a half and I have a little bit of subscribers and I was like okay I'm gonna wait until I get to 100,000 subscribers before I do a vlog but since I'm going to Jamaica in March which is where I'm from I'm from Jamaica you know and I live here in the United States now so I'm going back to Jamaica for you know for a special occasion for a couple of days you know I'm going back me and my daughter so you know I want to see I I'm thinking of like starting the vlog in March you know just because I'm gonna be traveling 
and I want you guys to see where I'm from, you know, how I used to grow up. I want you guys, I want you guys to see Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? Like the real Jamaica. And I'm thinking of doing a vlog in March, even though I don't have the 100,000 subscribers, but I'm really thinking of doing a vlog. I I went online, I look at the vlog cameras, I look at Canon, I look at, what's the other one? Sony. And I found two that I really like. And I was like, okay, so this is a start off for me. It's not expensive, but this is just a start off vlog camera. And they know later on I could get like the expensive one that everybody's using on, <laughs> on YouTube. But I'm really thinking of, you know, doing a vlog in March. So if you guys want to see me in Jamaica with my family and me getting wild and all of them good stuff there, just, you know, leave it down in the comment section. Like, tell me, tell me if you want me to do a vlog in March. I don't know, but I think I really want to do it. You know, just to get a hang of it. You know, it's going to be weird for me to walk around with cameras all over the place. But I want to do it. I really want to try it out. Oh, by the way, I'm using the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I am just going to go ahead and set my eyes where I conceal. Because I'm doing a natural look. So I am only going to put like two eyeshadows and that's it. And the two eyeshadows are going to be very, very, very natural. Earthy colors. So... I don't want to have any crease under, you know, on my eyelid. Okay, so I am going to go into my Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to take this shade right here. And then uh, this one. And then I am going to go in with this champagne color right here for underneath the brow bone. Just to get that little shiny, a little pop of color. So I'm only going to take these three colors and that's it. But do you guys like my backdrop? I got this backdrop from Amazon. And it's like a um, marble backdrop. And I was looking. I'm, I'm an Amazon crazy girl. I'm always on Amazon. I am a Prime member of Amazon. And I was looking on you know, stuff for backdrop, nice, sexy, you know, nice, cool backdrop, nothing too dramatic. And I saw this one here. And it's like, it's like marble. It's really pretty. Like, it's, the camera is, like, blurring the background out. But, I love this backdrop. You guys are going to see a lot of this backdrop, trust me. And I got this other one for Valentine's. It's like hearts all over the backdrop. It's really pretty too. And when I'm doing my Valentine's makeup tutorial, I'm going to change it out and put that one. But so far, I really love this backdrop. Tell me what you think about it. Like, let me know if you want me to put that link down below. But yeah, I bought it from Amazon and... I order it like say I order it today which is today's what Wednesday yes <laughs> today's Wednesday and I got it on Friday because I'm a prime member but I really love this backdrop so I'm gonna go in with that dark brown shade right there the second color I showed you and I'm only gonna put this right into the um, into the crease and you know a little bit up top a little bit above the crease and just blend it out so now I'm gonna go in with that champagne color that I showed you earlier and I'm just gonna put it right under the brow bone just like that and it's very subtle and it's very pretty as you guys can see look at that it's so pretty so I'm only gonna put that right under the brow bone and then I'm gonna use the other brush that I was using earlier and blend it out because makeup is about blending like this is 2018 if you don't know how to blend your eyeshadow or your 
foundation your concealer everything like if you don't know how to blend your makeup I mean you need to watch more <laughs> makeup tutorial because you have to know how to blend like me when I just started I was blending you know I was blending because I watch a lot a lot of makeup tutorial before I started my YouTube channel and you know I wasn't perfect at first nobody was but I got the hang of it and trust me sometimes when I blend I go overboard and I blend too much sometimes but I blend okay trust me I blend so you have to know how to blend you got to learn how to blend and all of that so you see how it looked very subtle but still have a little shimmery in it that's what I'm going for because you could wear this makeup anywhere to work if you want to go out on a dinner date a lunch date you could definitely wear this makeup out and you could even wear it to school wherever you want to wear it to I need my coffee all right so next I am gonna go in with this eyeliner right here and I got this from my beauty supply store is called Molly just wing it liquid eyeliner in black and I am gonna do a little a little wing you don't have to do it you could just go over it with just one line but I want to do a little wing so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I have to keep quiet okay so I did a little wing you don't have to do this but I feel like I want to do it okay so the eyes or done no the eyes are not done what am I talking about oh okay so I'm gonna use the artistry mascara and I am not gonna put any lashes on I don't have any lashes that look very natural I do have dramatic lashes so i am not going to put any lashes on so i'm only going to put mascara and the trick with this if you want to look like you have on uh you know lashes on is to go over it twice so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to go over it twice but you have to make you make you got to make it dry first okay so do it once and then wait for like 30 seconds to a minute and then go back over it another time and then you will see the difference it will get it will look more fuller and nicer so yeah i never did a makeup tutorial so early in the morning i normally do it like 11 12 o'clock yeah i have a pimple right here oh my god oh and right here and right here okay so I'm gonna go over it again and look look at my eyes look at my lashes okay and then you're gonna see the difference when I go over it again okay I hope you could see it on camera but look comparing to this one I don't know if you could see it but this one look more fuller than the other but you know this is a trick when you don't want to put on any lashes but make sure you get a good mascara that it doesn't clump up because you have some mascara that do clump up your lashes so make sure it's a good one okay make sure it's very good all right next i am going to go in with my two favorite which is the fenty and this is a pro filter and then this is a foundation and my foundation is 420 and I love this foundation I love it so much like this is my everyday foundation I love it so I am gonna go in with this damp beauty blender and make sure you shake it very well and I am just going to put three pumps 
to the back of my hand and put it onto my face. And make sure you blend it all the way down, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please blend your foundation all the way down to your neck, all right? And also your ears, all right? This is 2018. You want your neck and your face to have the same color, all right? So blend your neck. Blend your ears all the way down and also blend all the way into your hairline. All right, and this is three pumps. Three pumps do my face, and it is full coverage. Like, look at that so natural, so nice. Like, who don't like the Fenty? Who don't? Like, come on, are you serious? If you don't like it, you're a hater. That's all I gotta say. So next, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, and I am in the shade D35 Neutral. I love this concealer. Oh my God. Really love it, and it's very full coverage. And all of that. I really love it, and I have no regrets of buying it. I don't remember the price of it, but... To be honest, I don't care because I got my money's worth. And I have this concealer for like four months now. Either four or three months now, I have this concealer. I got it at Sephora. I'm always in Sephora. Oh my God. If I'm not in Sephora, I'm on the website. <laughs> Sephora and MAC is my store. And Ulta and I just ordered some stuff from Ulta two days ago I ordered a new NARS cons um, foundation mmm oh my god and I'm definitely gonna do a review and I also ordered the Huda Beauty which I know I'm late to the game because everybody and their mama have Huda I order it and it's right here I'm going to do a review on it because I heard it's full coverage and I have dry skin so I'm going to do a review on it and I'm going to wear it all throughout the day and I'm going to see how it feels and how it looks on my skin. So yeah, I ordered that. I can't wait to get the NARS because everybody's talking about it and I do have the NARS um, concealer. So... I cannot wait so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna use that same beauty blender and I'm gonna start with my chin and what I've learned from Jackie Aina is that wait a little bit under your eyes until it's dry a little then you go in to get a more fuller coverage so that's why you always see me doing these first before I do the under eyes so Thank you, Jackie. Okay, next I'm gonna go back into my Laura Mercier. And you guys know what I'm about to say. I cannot set because <laughs> I cannot bait because I do have a dry skin. So I'm just gonna pat it right into the skin. Just like that. Just pat it in because I don't want no crease. Especially under my eyes, it's always creasing. Always. So I'm just gonna pat it in. And I'm also gonna put on my small line because I have crazy small line. My small line be crazy. So put it right there. And then I'm gonna quickly brush it off and finish my whole face with this finishing powder from MAC and this is the dark deep mineralizing and you can see it hit pan I need another one like ASAP so I'm in the shade NW45 and that's my shade for the foundation in MAC so I'm just gonna brush it off
my skin looks so flawless like if you see me face to face it's really pretty i really love it okay so let me finish the under eyes i'm only gonna do the mascara where is it so i'm only gonna put the mascara under for the bottom lashes okay so that's it with the eyes okay so since i'm not going to go ahead and contour because this is a natural look i'm going to use this bronzer and i got this from the beauty supply store and it's called she makeup mineralizing bronzer right here and i'm going to use the darkest shade which is this one it has four colors in there and i don't know if you guys can see it on camera but you can see that it have the four shade and this one is the darkest one right here and it have a pinkish one here and all of that stuff so i'm going to use the darkest shade just to bronze up my face and also contour and look you can see that it's contouring my cheeks a little bit not crazy look at that so this is what i use when i really don't want to contour but i just you know i want a little bit of bronze you know back into my face a little bit of color and I do have small nose so I don't need to contour sometimes I feel like contouring you know but I don't have to because I have a smaller nose my nose is really small okay so that's all and you can see how it looks so my skin feels very dry so I'm gonna go ahead and spray with my Urban Decay All Nighter and I drench my face like I drench my face all right so next I'm gonna go in with my Mac gold deposits I love this thing and I'm only gonna put a little bit on the fan brush and you know you still want to have a little bit of glow on your face even though you're doing a natural look you want to you know when the sun hits your face you have that glow so this thing melts right into my skin as you guys can see look at that and i only put a little bit look how natural this look this look very natural and this is my go-to look you know, like when I go out on a date with my man, if I want to go to the mall and I just want a simple look, this is what I do, okay? So afterwards, I'm going to go in with the lips and I'm using this pencil here and it's called Sangria. Got this from the beauty supply store and I am going to go in with my Nikki from MAC and this is called Nikki Nude. Love, love, love this. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And guys, you don't have to do what I do with my lips. This is optional. You could go in with a lip gloss and you're done. But I want to be a little extra. I want to be a little extra. Okay, guys. So that's it. This is the finished look of the Everyday Makeup Tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just went ahead and I put my curly wig on. And this is from my hairline procedure here .com. I will link it down below. This is a custom wig and I did color it myself. I did make the wig myself. I do do custom orders, custom wigs. I will be having a wig collection very soon. I just have to make a lot of wigs. You know, it's a lot, but this is a, this is the Brazilian deep wave. I color it and all of that stuff. I did put some little water in it and mousse, so yeah. But I really love this hair. I am obsessed. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this very natural, glowy makeup tutorial. Everyday look, and I love it. I'm obsessed. I wanna go out right now, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, before you leave, subscribe. Turn on your notification and all of that good stuff. And if you want me to do a vlog in March when I go to Jamaica, let me know down below. Please tell me what you think because I really want to do it. <laughs> I want to do it so bad. But yeah, 
I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.